Hey guys, there's another neighborhood here that we've been talking about for it seems like a year plus now and finally we're out here there's houses to sell and it's going to be a great neighborhood. We're going to talk about it today. They are moving some homes for sure. We're in Cane Bay Plantation again. It's towards the back of Cane Bay. It's called Tidewater at the Lakes of Cane Bay built by Dream Finders. If we don't know each other, my name is Mark. This is Jeff. We're with the Charleston Area Living Group and in this channel we talk about all things Somerville down to Charleston over to Mount Pleasant all the way up to Georgetown down to Edisto up to Santee all, all over, over. Pretty soon Myrtle Beach too coming soon coming soon yeah. cool things about this neighborhood number one is the builder is doing so this used to be Crescent Homes if you ever remember Crescent Homes and then they switched over to Dream Finders Homes yep. Uh, and, and they have a neighborhood, lovely neighborhood here in this neighborhood. Um, the hammocks. Uh, the hammocks that's been around for a while. And then now they're stepping in here, but they've upped their game in this neighborhood. So they're doing hardy plank siding. They're doing elevated foundations. Yep. They're doing- um, Gas lanterns. The, yeah, that's the coolest thing. The gas lanterns above the front porch. A uh, bunch of different models, ranch homes, two stories. But one of the cool things here you can do is also build from the ground up and pick your everything. Yep. And it's not going to be a humongous neighborhood. Let me guess. Because yes. I, I know you told me, but I forgot already. Okay, go ahead. 165 houses. Very close. 186. 186. Yep. Yeah. And Lots. for a neighborhood this size, a smaller neighborhood, you can have a really nice amenity center too. We'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah. Lots on the water. Lots uh, up the woods, a few of them. Yeah. Very minimal will be back to back, right? Yeah, yeah, they really laid out this neighborhood great. Uh, the way they kind of laid it out, there's tons back up to the woods and the water. Like Mark said, very few looking at your neighbors behind you. And one of the advantages, oh, I think I know what I'm about to say is correct. Okay. I'm going to run it past you. I'm going to say it. We'll fact check it. And you'll fact check me if I'm wrong. Yes. This is one of the few neighborhoods in Cane Bay Plantation that you have access to the lake system. Ding, 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 ding. You I are got, correct. I got it right. So you can go canoeing, kayaking. Just out here down the road, a hundred yards, there's going to be a boat launchy type thing. They haven't done it yet, so I'm not no. sure exactly what it's going to look like. It might just be a slide in. But a place thing. to put yeah. your boat in if you want to go kayak and canoe. Yeah, absolutely. And then uh, toward the end of the video, we'll talk about the amenities that are coming yep. and all other things Cane Bay Plantation. But right now, let's head over to the Wilson. Let's do it. Mark, one of the spec homes here at uh, Tidewater, this is called the Wilson C, three bedroom, three bath, just over 2,000 square feet. It's basically a ranch, but it's got one floor or one uh, room upstairs, a, a, a frog, yeah. whatever it is, a loft. Yeah. Uh, but right here, notice party plank siding. There will be a gas lantern here when they're done. They're Great. doing that in all the houses. Kind of love that. Beautiful floors coming in. I love those. Typical ranch layout. You've got the two bedrooms in the front here with a shared full bathroom. We've got tile down in the bathroom and they, they it looks like they upgraded the carpet a bit to more of a Berber carpet than, oh, a, yeah. than a, you know, shag or whatever else. That's shag. Nice. I guess shag isn't still a carpet. I said shag. <laughs> like, like I'm talking about houses in the 1970s <laughs> or uh, what's his nuts from you know, the you've movie. Been I've been around a long time. Not even been a realtor a long time when you talk about shag. Yeah, I haven't been that long, but yeah, <laughs> that's true. I like the black matte um, finishes on the, you know, the uh, handles and the faucets and all that. Isn't that a dance here in Charleston too? The, the, the shag? Yeah. The shag? That's mm -hmm. the thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a big right. thing. See, I was talking about dancing, not the carpet. Stop making fun of me. <laughs> so, laundry, they, they put my favorite tile in the laundry room. I love this tile in laundry rooms. Only laundry rooms. I wouldn't like this in a, in a bathroom or anything else. No, you wouldn't want that throughout your whole house? No, a little busy. But they really did, look at the upgrades they did. This is not a basic spec house. Mm -hmm. They are putting really nice stuff in these. Yeah, I agree. These lights, they've they got the, uh, oh. You can put your head in there. I could put my head in there. It's, oh, like, like, like getting your hair did with the, with the, yeah. So they're putting vents, so they're venting to the outside. True double oven. Oh yeah. Yeah, because there'll be a microwave up here. They're doing a real double oven. Wow. Right that's cool. Gas in the, in the neighborhood. So yep. that's always good. Look, they did a little garbage disposal do hickey here. I so like that. So you have to reach down underneath the- uh, underneath Yeah, that's the where sink. mine is too. Mine too. Um, and then we got the farmhouse sink. Cool lights. Yeah, they're doing a nice job here. They're not putting basic stuff in these. Yeah, so this one's on a woods lot. So I don't think you'll have anybody behind you there. And I really like what they did here. So 
This is surrounded on three sides, which this is the porch I like because it's really private feeling, but then they put a nice pad out back also. Yeah, you can put your grill out there, a little patio set. And you would be able to fence, I'm guessing, back to where that, that black line is now. Yeah, I think you're right. But beautiful woods behind it. Very nice. Right, so let's go find the primary. So this looks like our only pantry right here in this one. Okay. So just a reach in pantry. I could live with that with everything else they put in there. Yeah. Big ceiling. Yeah. And uh, I love that they put a ceiling fan up there to begin with. Yeah, so because there ain't no way me and you are doing no, that. No, that's way too high. That's, <laughs> that's 20 some foot high up there. Good size primary. Put the nice ceilings in this one. Uh, you got the booby light up here right now, but you could, uh, that's pre-wired for a ceiling, ceiling fan. fan. Very nice. So they went with a bathtub in this one. That's interesting. Dreamfinders likes bathtubs. <clears throat> Do I've they? Noticed. Have you seen yeah. them in a lot? I've seen them in a lot. Nice shower though. And look even at these mirrors, not just the mirrors. They actually have them cased. Yeah, it's the real, not the big piece of glass. Right, right yeah, just one piece of glass with that in the size. They look very nice with, with matching lights over top. And actually everything matches here. All the black mm -hmm. hardware. Even the doorknobs look. Yeah. Throne room. Got a linen, closet. linen and uh, definitely a big enough walk-in closet. Yeah, like it. All right, let's go upstairs. So Dream Founders used to be called Crescent Homes. Yes. And I think their quality of work has been the same. I like that, that beam. Thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, their quality of work has been pre pretty much the same, if not a little better with Dream finders, right? Well, they're they're doing better finishes in this than they did over in some of the in, in their other neighborhood in uh, Cane Bay here. Yeah, the hammocks or whatever. Wood tread on the steps. Yep, I like that. You got the Berber carpet up here again, or shag as Jeff likes to call it's it. Not shag. Oh, it's got a bath up here. It's a full bath. Okay, so this could be another bedroom up here. This would be a great office. Oh yeah. Got a pee. I'm gonna run downstairs, got your own bathroom up here. Probably a little storage behind these walls. Mm -hmm. This is a great house. Let's go see the Emerson. All right, Jeff, we're at the Emerson C plan now. And C just determined the outside, what the outside's gonna look like, I believe. Oh, I thought you meant like we're gonna go see how nice it is inside. You could do that, because you're very spiffy with words like that. <laughs> spiffy with words is what he said. <laughs> uh, notice, again, the raised foundation, nice front porch. Gas lantern gonna be in here for so sure. So I'm just envisioning, you've got carriage lights on both sides of the garage. You've got that light there and a the gas. This thing's going to be light up, lit up. Lit up like a Christmas tree. Yeah, it's going to be lit up. Uh, and then Not the like point. that, though. Yeah, no, not a bad lit up. Yeah, yeah. And uh, maybe even lights up on the, on so the porch upstairs. The one reason I like this one is the owner is on the main floor. Okay. The owner suite is on the main floor. So. Again, nice floors. This is a little bit darker than what we saw next door. Look how massive this I guess dining room is. Yeah. Right? Although you could easily switch out that light and use this as an office space or another flex room. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you're okay with it being open. Yeah. Or closing in here. Yep. Yeah. For sure. All right. So we've got a half bath here. You got your entry in from your garage, a drop zone. Snazzy tile on the floor. Laundry, laundry room. room. You got a double door pantry here. Well, that's double the space in the pantry that the last one we were in. So really nice countertops. I like this. Again, the, the matte black. Uh, this one doesn't have the true double oven. So you got the microwave over the oven. I bet that's a convection microwave though. Um, yeah, I can't tell because it's that fancy. Yeah. One. Yeah. You got a butler's pantry in there too though. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. And so this one has the hood though. So where we didn't have the hood before, uh, this one has the hood, nice gas top. I really like the uh, hardware they put in these. Mm -hmm. Another farmhouse sink. Yeah. The island is a different color than the exterior cabinets. Oh yeah. You've got the fireplace in this again. Big dining space. You can put a big table here. Oh, that'd take an eight top right there. Right? And still have a big living room here. And notice again, they're doing the extra things like putting the ceiling fans in, mm -hmm. uh, putting all the lighting, the fixtures, the hardware, high-end stuff. You got your pendant pre-wires. 
And then I wonder if this one will be screened in. Probably not, right? I don't know. But you got the extra pad like you like. It has gutters on it. Um, this has a door, I'm assuming, to the primary over here too. Oh, yeah, you can come out from the primary. Yeah. So here's one thing that I don't love and in, in just the way this house is laid out is the, uh, this is gonna vent hot. This is from the fireplace. It says hot right there. It actually says hot on it. So you can't really, or I don't think you'd wanna put anything up against this wall right here as far as yeah. chairs or anything else. I mean, it, it, when you're not using it, I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just, yeah. you don't wanna be sitting there and have the fireplace on inside, lean over. Right. Know, right. Check it out, they put an extra pad here. They're oh. putting gutters on these. That is not the bedroom, it's the living room on the other side of the fireplace. Uh, oh my goodness, you are right. All right, so I bet they're gonna screen that in. And that's why this door is here. And then you'll have a step down to the outside. I think we're gonna have to come back at some point and find out, this All is right. interesting. Crown molding, yep. the big craftsman style trim. So this is the primary. Yeah. Very nice. I so like ceiling it. fan again, did not put the upgraded ceiling in this one. Yep. You got the big tile on the floor here in the bathroom. Nice. Yeah, get the like bathtub these. again. Bathtub again. Beautiful shower. But that's a big enough shower. Yeah. Like you don't need all that space, no. so why not put the tub in? Yep. Some people really like a bathtub. No. Yeah. Again, I feel like I would have some water displacement issues if I was to get in this bathtub, but for normal people, that would be lovely. Well, you know what you gotta do is get in first, then <laughs> put the water in. And you save water that way too. Yeah. Just a gallon of water, it's, you're done. There you go. Big closet and the toilet room over there. So it looks like what they're doing is, you know, if you've got 15 upgrades that you could put in the house, mm -hmm. they're picking different things for different houses. So this one's got the hood. The hood where the other one didn't. This one has fireplace. Some of them probably don't. Yep. I like the backsplash on there, the diamond pattern or whatever it's called. All right, so we've got we've got at least three bedrooms upstairs. At though. least three upstairs, okay. They're even putting the uh, combination locks on here. Yep. I like that. Wood treads on the steps. And Mark, wait till you see the size of this room. Oh my. I didn't expect that. That is humongous bonus room. Yeah. This would be great for kids to play their video it's games. There's a whole other house up here. Kids, go upstairs and- Hey, look, there's good storage in there too. Oh yeah. Play your video Both games sides. upstairs. The downstairs is ours. Yeah. Good size bedroom. Boot them little up the steps. Is that a closet or a bathroom to the right? Bathroom. Got so, an ensuite full bath here. Ensuite, nice. With shower, right? Not a yep. bathroom? So that's another secondary breaching mm -hmm. closet. Okay. What's cool is the front of the house and you've got this door here in the hallway to go out to the second porch. Very nice. Nice. Oh, Mark, there's a, there's a metal roof over here. Yeah. I would love to sit on this porch and listen. during the rain and listen to that. Put you a hammock out there and go to oh, sleep? Oh yeah, that'd be a good nap. And then we've got a third bedroom here with a full bath. So that full bath will support these two bedrooms, I guess. Okay. Yep. Good size walk-in closet in this one, Jeff and good size room. Yeah, this is a big for secondary. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little more storage back behind there. Yeah. So this is the Emerson, Emerson another I, nice house. I can't get over the size of this room here. Yeah, love it. So I think you can see why we're kind of impressed with this neighbor. Some of the things they're putting, the, the finishes, the just down to the handles on the doorknobs. Everything the, matchy, matchy, the lights. Matchy, going, matchy. Matchy, matchy. I, I do a matchy matchy with you at this pickleball court when it's opened up. Yeah, I'm I'd excited. lose, but it's this is gonna be the amenity center. So they got a clubhouse and pool, a park, a playground, pickleball. My gosh, they have a mall here. That's gonna be a mall no. outside of the what? That doesn't say mall. 
You can go get your mail down by the pool. There's no <laughs> mall here. I, was, I wasn't I was thinking this neighborhood was big enough for its own private no, mall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That didn't make sense. Now that's going to be right here by this pond over here. Um, so basically right behind the sign is where all this is. But Cane Bay Plantation has a whole lot to offer too, oh, right? Yeah. So since we're in the back of Cane Bay, it is a little bit of a golf cart ride, maybe 15, 20 minute golf cart ride. Yeah. Up to the front of the neighborhood where you can get your Chick-fil-A on, you can get your Starbucks on. There's a Buffalo Wild Wings. There is Dunkin' Donuts. Two Mexican restaurants. Two Mexican restaurants. One that restaurant. does tableside guacamole. It's really good. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's another grocery store coming too. Yes, uh, Lowe's. Lowe's eventually. eventually. They haven't even started that thing. No, either. but it's, I, I just, I'm excited about it because I, I really like Lowe's. Yeah. And then of course, you know, the Publix, Family Larry's with the big deep dish pizza. Yeah. And um, nails, hair, all that kind of stuff. YMCA, biggest in the Southeast uh, here in Cane Bay. Yep. Indoor pool there, walking path, uh, courts, soccer fields, all that kind of stuff. They do big events on the holidays, the thanks, or the, uh, you know, 4th of July fireworks and um, Halloween. They always do a big thing at Halloween too. Yep. And I would really like actually being in the back of this neighborhood because Andy and I really enjoy going out in the evening for a golf cart ride. You're kind of back here in the back, go for a nice long golf cart ride. You can run out to the restaurants and that if you want to. Uh, but you live in this neighborhood and you have seen some massive golf cart parades around here. Oh yeah, check out this video of the recent Halloween parade that yeah. was happening. Went right through my neighborhood. So I was able to throw the drone up really quick. Nice. And I think the drone was up for a good five minutes of, of watching the whole I'm just line picturing you like, forgetting that that was happening and then somebody in your family uh -huh. said hey there's a parade outside and you running screaming through the house to go grab the ooh, drone ooh, <laughs> yeah. get get all the way i gotta get thrown i gotta get yeah, thrown absolutely absolutely so great location here we love everything about cane bay mark wouldn't live here if he didn't yep. uh if you want to find out more information about this one or any other properties in the area mark how do we do it yeah so down in the description if you click on the link it says book a zoom call here it'll drop right in our calendars we can try to match it up to your schedule on those Zoom calls, we love doing them because we get to answer all of your questions, find out what you're looking for in a home. What is the lifestyle that you want to live? Do you want that golf cartable thing going on? We can give that to you. Yeah. If you don't want that, we've got other neighborhoods in other areas, of, uh, of course. Um, and then, you know, obviously we want to keep your budget in mind. And do us a favor, like and subscribe to the channel. Like this video if you did like it. If you didn't, just lie. Say you liked it anyway. And it'll make us feel better if nothing else. And it helps us. It does help us. It really does help us. Every Tuesday night, we're doing a live at 7 o'clock. So jump on on a Tuesday night if you have a single question, you want to know something about one of these yes. neighborhoods, jump on there, ask it live. We'll answer it. Uh, we've been having a fantastic time on Tuesday nights. So we'd love for you to join us on one of those. A lot of fun. Anything else? I think that's it. We'll Thanks see you in the everybody. next one.